we back, Chuck. I, yes. I'm back in your face. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm here for you. I, I'm here for you. I appreciate it. I like it. I like it. I like you on my face. I, I, <laughs> my face becomes a lot smarter when you're in it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> People actually see me. They say, I That sounds that weird, but yeah. I think it's a compliment. <laughs> happened your face looks smarter <laughs> was neil degrasse tyson in your face recently <laughs> yeah man yeah neil degrasse tyson and uh co-host chuck nice talk about uh electric power and how clean it actually is from cars to the grid um we are going to watch this together i'm gonna have some opinions that i'll pepper in there and then i want to know what you think of the comments but let's jig it out the world is changing. Everybody's going to electricity. If we're all, you know, electrifying hey man, cars and everything. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm totally about it because mm-hmm. you're talking about maybe upgrading the grid. We're talking about electric cars. We're talking mm-hmm. about uh, public transportation systems. And all right. of this supposedly is uh, going to minimize, you know, our carbon emissions. But here's the mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Electricity. What is, I mean, aren't we burning fossil fuels to get electricity? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) I mean. (laughs) That's the whole concept of a coal-fired power plant. (laughs) Yeah. Today, you know where our oil comes from. Yes. Wars are fought over oil. That's right. When the price of oil changes, it makes headlines in the news. That's right. Because your car runs on oil and on nothing else. So yeah. your car has no choice. You have to buy the product that your car runs on and you don't control all the access to that product that makes it a strategic asset. Right. Okay. So the car really just needs power. Does that power have to come from gasoline? No, it can come from some other source. All right, so now, hmm, suppose I turn my combustion engine car into an electric car. So now I'm not putting oil into it, gasoline into it. I take it and I plug it in. Yeah. Chuck, when you plug things into the wall, I don't care what, a toaster, your hair dryer, whatever. Uh, do you use a hair dryer? Probably not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no, but I do bathe with a toaster when things get bad. <laughs> <All right. laughs> You've clearly forgotten to plug it in every time you took a bath with him. <laughs> Damn, so, that's what I'm doing wrong. That's what you're doing wrong. That's what I'm doing wrong. Okay. They never tell you that. But this is yeah. it. Never bathe with a toaster. And you did the experiment and it was no problem. I was like, I don't get the, I don't get the big deal. Dude, every time I take a bath, the toaster's right here with me. I have the cleanest toaster in the world. <laughs> so you plug things into the wall. Are you asking yourself, I wonder what kind of power this is? Are you, are you even wondering what it costs you? It's actually relatively cheap, it right? Is, yeah. Relative, I mean, compared to other things you spend money on, it's it's so cheap that if you're driving away and you realize, I left, I left the living room light on, are you gonna stop the car, turn around and go back and turn out the light and then continue to your dinner? No, you just say, I'll, I'll turn it out when, when I, I go to sleep, to, when I get home, right? That's how casual we are about this. So you plug it into the wall, you don't know what produced that energy. It could be coal, it could be uh, oil, it could be uh, hydro, it could be solar panels, it could be nuclear, it could be tidal. You don't know, and in fact, you don't care. So, if laws change, if we run out of oil, if we, whatever goes on in the energy marketplace doesn't have to concern you, the power company says, I will now generate power from wind. Uh, from from solar, from from hydro. By the way, wind and hydroelectric are both solar powered, right? The yeah. sun evaporates ocean water, and that moves on land. It comes out as rain to a, some high lake. You dam that or a river. You dam that, and then you have hydro power. Uh, and of course, wind power is the uneven heating of Earth's surface, causing wind movement. So, so solar panels, wind, and hydro are all solar power. Okay, so. The, the electric company, if the price of oil goes high, let's swap in more solar. If we outlaw the coal, they put bring in hydro, but bring in nuclear, whatever else it is, they're not beholden to oil. 
to create power that comes out of your wall socket. So if transportation and other things that use combustion engines that have a carbon footprint, if they all plug into the wall, you are planting the seeds of a future where we have no dependence on oil whatsoever. All right, well, I like that. And we would have turned oil into salt. Nice, Uh, except I am not putting oil on my french fries i'm just saying <laughs> no no because you boil them in oil that's what <laughs> exactly right. no, you're not putting crude I'm, oil on your french yeah, fries i was gonna <laughs> say i'm not putting 10 w40 or uh, you know or uh oh, so, some some uh was light sweet crude i'm not i'm not going light sweet crude on my french fries <laughs> So the oil and the salt thing was from an earlier part of the video when he talked about salt as a strategic resource and how um, the world changing uh, moved it out of that status. So this is just some of the sort of backdrop of what's going on with electricity. Yeah. And uh, one of the great challenges before we land this plane here is uh, one great advantage that oil gasoline has over these other forms of energy is I can take a bucket of gas Mm-hmm. And I can move it from like here to there, right? And just leave it available to me when I need it. When I need it, okay. Right. Whereas solar power, you don't. There's not unless you stored that in a battery, right? And then carry the battery around. The actual act of collecting solar power uh, is not the same as storing it and transporting it. Absolutely. So if you don't have a way to store the solar power, you only get to use it while it's coming down. While it's happening. So there's still some challenges, you know, plus batteries are like 150 year old technology. All right. And uh, uh, Volta was one of the first who sort of pioneered a good version of a battery. And of course, we named Volts after him. Uh, But so, so there's still challenges to making this work in its fullest expression. But... I'm just saying the sun is handing you free energy every sunny day of the year and to just let it go to waste while we are burning fossil fuels warming the earth is a travesty. And so we need to put our brain power where in ways, apply our brain power in ways that can represent us as good shepherds of our own civilization so that generations to come will be proud of what we have done for them rather than ashamed. Yes, excellent, excellent. I we got to call it. it quits there, Chuck. All right. Neil deGrasse Tyson on his channel, Star Talk. You can definitely check that out. You can subscribe if you choose, whatever. I recommend it. Astrophysicist, educator. You know, I think it's a breath of fresh air with these other videos I do where you've just got people sort of yelling at each other or reporting and unpacking the crazy you know shotgun blast of shock doctrine and and crazy stuff that's currently going on in in washington right now it's just exhausting especially in the middle of february as if february isn't tough enough anywho um why don't you let me know what you think in the comments please